Hi, Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. This is Pam and Steph, Hi. a.k.a. Just, Just Keep, keep Stitching. And we're here with a bonus video. We're going to call this 17.5. Yes. Bonus. And um, we've got a special request for our viewers um, that has kind of a deadline. Um, but first, we're going to um, start with uh, some things that we ran out of time for mm -hmm. uh, on Wednesday. Yep. And the first is, uh, I just kind of wanted to show you the um, raffle pail bucket okay. that was handed off to me by the winner because it contained a lot of patriotic stuff that she really does not um, stitch. Right. And so she knew I did. So she said, um, would you like this? And I went, well, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. so um, I'm going to show you that. Okay. So wait for it. Here it is. Yeah. Um, look at this. Look how cute this is. Look at this pail. Isn't that cute? It's I got a couple right. of handles. It's metal. And we'll find a use for that. So yes, that's super will. cute. So I'll just pull out some of the highlights here. Um, the Michael Powell. Yeah. Um, Michelle, pay attention. Pay attention, Michelle. Uh, a Michael Powell kit. Mm -hmm. That okay. We're gonna try not to do the glare. There okay. we go. Those scissor um, fobs. Is that what scissor they are? fobs or in there. So they're like mini Michael Powells. They're so cute. Little Mikeys. Isn't that scissor great? Scissor keeps and key keeps. Yeah. So um, little Mikeys. Is that what not patriotic? Said? But we'll take it. But whatever. Maybe because right. he's from. No, he's not even no, from America. He's not even from America. Whatever. It's cute. okay. Um, uh, relatively old. I'm guessing. Um, Holly House chart called Season of Summer. Uh, Holly House was pretty prolific back in the day. Sorry about the glare. But That's kind of cute. Good. Summer patriotic design. Yeah. I didn't even look at this stuff, so. Um, oh, cool. A couple of coasters um, with charts and wow. cloth and everything to make Ooh, USA. USA, America. Yeah, cool. A couple of... And then there's this big one on the back you can yep. do. Yep. So that's cool. Um, Excuse me. This is a like collection a of thing? wool and cotton in red, white, and blues. Excuse me. From... Week Dye Works. Week Dye Works. I think the colors are... Let me see what the colors are. So there's felt the, and yeah, the floss. colors are Chesapeake, which is the blue, and then I want to know what I wanted to open this for like a week now. And then the red is Turkish red, and then the white is not a week's color. Is there a chart in there with anything? No, it's just floss and floss and felt and felt for some finishing stuff. Not sure. I don't know, but Not these sure. reds and red and blue. I don't know what this is, but it's got like some. It's sure. supposed to be cream. It looks yellow. It's whatever. All packaged together by weeks. So cute. Um, this is from the sampler house. So um, this, I, who's the girl that's do, looking for a red sampler? Is that uh, Lori? No. Mr. Stitches. No. Is or Yvonne? Oh, that's right. Lori was yeah, looking Lori. for one. Lori. We found one. Regal Red Sampler. Right. Um, whoa. Whoa, glare. Um, not sure I would ever stitch this. Um, Lori, if you watch this episode. And you want it. Let us and know. you want it for your guild because you're doing red. There's a bunch of farm animals on it and stuff. And there's some geese. And, and a, um, a or maybe looking. send me a message on Instagram and I, mm -hmm. I'll, um. Maybe send you a better picture. Who's it? It's by the Sampler House. The Sampler House in Jenison, Michigan. Red Regal Sampler. Yeah. Yay! This red. Um, this is funny because we we just got this in a rack and it was funny that it was in here. So now we have two of these. Right. Um, American Sampler from the Lovely Leisure Arts, I guess. Lovely Leisure Arts. Again, patriotic. I, like I it, have though. two of these. Um, so then, Holler at me if you want this. First come, first serve, y'all. It's just one page. Chart on the back. Right. Picture on the front. Color charts. So if you hate color charts, you can make a black and white copy. Yep. 
And then I really like this one. Um, I'm not really one to I know, do I like Quakers, this one too. But I like this one. Cherished Stitches. Um, Sweet Land of Liberty. It's Look really, at that thing. really cool. I love it. Yeah, I'm keeping this. Sorry. I'm keeping this one. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Maybe we'll stick it with some of these lip colors. Um, the theme oh, was right. um, Last Picnic of Summer at our retreat. Oh, and um, so that. we all got these cute little picnic picnic basket know, things. And inside was um, two, well, maybe we each got one. No, no, there were two in each. Two, uh, <laughs> they looked like mayonnaise. mayonnaise. We, we, me and Sharon, hi Sharon. We, we thought, thought they were mayonnaise. We thought they were mayonnaise. Uh, no, it was um, mayonnaise. utterly smooth That's and so cream to stitch with. And I'm a I'm a huge advocate for that stitchers lotion or stitchers whatever. Right. So, yeah. And so I'm excited to try that utterly smooth. And what stuff. was this thing? Scissors. Oh, scissors. Kind of weird scissors. Kind of weird scissors. That was recommended. We oil them first. Yeah, like I want to put a whole lot of oil on my scissors and then right. cut my thread. Right. Not sure. No, nope, but this basket's very cute. I mean, look how cute that yep. is. With the um, and wait, stop. You gotta tell them. Okay, so I found this out from Sue, and she told me that this is what you're supposed to do with it. I asked what the hell this was. <laughs> I thought it was a nail file. <laughs> Not a nail file. Um, so this little thing comes out. Okay, whatever that's for. But this... You're uh, supposed to like stitch something on this and then it finishes with this around it like I or underneath I don't really know I'm not gonna do it but I was like what the heck is this lid for but that was I guess the intention or uh, the idea or whatever so right. cool we're not sure um that's how we feel about the basket that's how we feel about the basket <laughs> she's <laughs> dropping it, it all over the she's dropping it all over the but floor anyway. um I'll just give you a close up too. This was uh, Nancy Harris's um, really nice uh, promotional card that yeah. she had uh, near her stuff. She's the Ort Catcher lady. If you haven't probably finished our last video from Wednesday, right. um, and on the back she lists all the craft shows she's going to be at um, up until. Gee, really, almost right up until Christmas. This is nice, by um, the way. It's really smooth. Ripple, ripple effect on Facebook, um, two words, and um, catch all. She calls them catch all bowls. Um, yeah, people, some people had like all their stitchy stuff in them, like their scissors and highlighters and stuff. Some people used them as yeah. uh, bottle, what about like koozies almost? So there's a picture. So, so that, <coughs> pardon me, that gives you a yeah. pictorial reminder. That early <coughs> smell. Nice. I just used it. Pardon me. God. CPR with Pam and Steph. <laughs> okay. Let's um, do this next. Want to do this next? Yeah, because this is the, the point of the video. Okay, this is the whole point of the video. All right, so as we may have noted, as we may have mentioned last time, um, next Friday and through the whole weekend, including Sunday, yep. our LNS is holding their, uh, one of their two a year, framing molding sales okay i think it's 40 percent off so it's, it's like pretty good deal you save up all your stuff right your big stuff to take over so for barb so. sale in um in the fall and then there'll be right. another one uh right. over super bowl weekend right. um next winter into spring okay so here's what we did we went through my um she Box has, of beauties, right. right? She has a big under the bed, like big, huge plastic tote that's like this, one of those lightweight deep ones, and it's under the bed. And it's like a journey through time. And it is right? literally like 60 finishes in there yeah. that just haven't been framed because as you all know, framing is expensive, right? right? So so you just set them aside and you think, yeah, you know, when my ship comes in, okay. We win the lottery. So, yeah. um, we picked out, before we went to the shop yesterday, mm -hmm. for our usual Friday afternoon sit and stitch. Um, oh, that's a really good name for it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Copyright paper. We stuff. picked out 10 out of the box. Right. Okay? Exactly. We rolled them up, and off to the shop we went. Right. And there were probably six or seven or eight ladies there, including Barbara and Lynn, who work at the shop. Yep. And um, I said, okay, people, it's time for your input. And we took the 10 yep. and we said, we need to whittle this down to five. Okay. 
So um, we have five here that we're yes. going to show you. And we would like you to, before the framing sale on Friday, which would be the what? Seventh? Sixth. Sure. Sixth. No Whatever. Next we time. want you to tell us which three, 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 three. out of the five. Not two, not four, but three. Uh, to, to pick out molding for. Right. At the sale price. Because we're going to give Barb four total, and one of the pieces is mine. I'm giving her the Wouldn't Life Be Great one right. from Lizzie Kate. So I just Steph's finished. got that one. So I'm giving her that one, and then the other three we're going to pick from this pile of five. Okay, so these are your five. Right. And we will do a final check of votes. Right. The after Friday, late morning, early afternoon. Before we head over to the Eleanor shop. Yep. So. Okay, so this is the Get ready. five. And, it's and you hard. vote for your top Three. Three. Got it? It's three. math, I know, but okay. Three. They can count to three, I would hope. Uh, <laughs> I think they're saying. probably better at it than... Uh, we'll give them credit for it. Okay, this is a good angle. This is called Betsy Ross, and it was um, sold by Krynick, and um, it came in like a CD case with um, silks, and I did not use the silks. I used DMC. It's and so, cool. so that's not, that's Betsy Ross. We're not going to number them. We're right. just going to give this them. Is, if you like the Betsy title. Ross, vote for Betsy Ross. Betsy Ross. I remember that I picked this piece out because when I first moved home last winter, this was what she was working on. So this is my association with it. So that was why I kind of voted for it to begin with. But Betsy Ross. Right. Okay. Okay, I can't remember the title of this one right this moment, but it's a Silver Creek sampler design, and many of you have seen it. Right. Okay. So if you want to vote for this next one, it's called Silver Creek. Just just call it Silver Creek. Right. We'll know what you're talking about. If you say Civil War, we'll also know that it's exactly which right. piece you're talking about. Okay. So this is kind of can't even fit it in the I know. shot, but it says. This 1861, the Civil War had just begun. In 1863, Lincoln declared all slaves free. In 1865, few good men were left alive. In, I'll pay respects to all I owe and help their seeds of freedom grow. Right. And, and the it, reason I wanted to stitch this is because I have in my... Uh, family tree, I have upwards of 40 plus Civil War veteran uh, ancestors. Right. Not direct line. Some of them are cousins. But, um, and also yeah. at the very bottom, you'll see that um, there are some tombstones oh, yeah. right here, right yeah. along in here. And I love cemeteries. Right. Obviously, it ties in with my love so of family just history. So they can see the detail up front. Right. Up close, so there's that. Right. And then there's that second verse part of it. I right. love it. Yeah. And then the third verse, and then the bottom. Correct. So, I love there you it. There so. It's a blast to stitch. I I recommend it. So, so that's either Silver, Civil War, Silver, Silver Creek. Creek. We'll know what you Whatever. mean. Whatever. So that's number two. Okay. Okay, the next one is Zombies by Prairie Moon. Prairie Moon. Okay. Ooh, check it out. Okay. All right. Oh, the color's coming Perfect. off yeah. perfectly. Um, some of you are Prairie Moon nuts like us. The umbrella says Captain, Captain Morg. Morg. Take off on Captain Morgan, obviously. I changed a few pinky colors in the birds. Uh, can't remember this fabric. I'm going to say it's... Under the sea? I'm not sure. I think it's under the sea, but I'm not sure. Leslie might have to chime in. Right. I wish I could remember. Okay. But, okay, right. so that's zombies. Or if you said prairie moon, we'd right. know which one. Yes. Okay. So I like to give them the detail. Oh, okay. So just so you can see, because we're using the phone and the camera's really good, so... There's that, and then so you can look at her different booby sizes. I love it. So yeah, number three okay. is Prairie Moon or Zombies. Okay. Know. So you're gonna have to narrow this down to three people. So <laughs> it's Get the struggle it will ready. be real. It All is. right, number four. Number four is Snow Days by Mirabilia. Okay. Wow, this camera's doing it 
Super Justice. Super Justice, yeah. And a lot of beads in this one. Stephanie will roll it by you. Yeah, I will. From top to bottom, but this is when Snow did Days. When this? this wasn't, didn't you date it somewhere, I thought? No. No. I put this aside for several years. Ooh. Okay. We went out of focus for a minute. Sorry. Several years, and uh, finally just, you know, powered through. powered through, and I do love it. I do love it. So, love the beads in this one. God, yeah. So. so this is number four. This number is four. Snowman. So just no, see. not snowman. Snow days. Snow days. Sorry. So just uh, yeah. So there's. I just want to roll it so you can see it. All the beads in there. And it's like a compass, so it's got like when you see it, it's got like a north, south, north, east, south, west, east, west. Yes, right in the oh. red letters. Yeah. So cool. Okay. So all right. So that was four. All okay. right. Now for number five. Five. All right. Now this was this took some research. Okay. It let did. me give you a little bit of backstory, because when I took it out of the out of the roll that we took to the shop yesterday. People were saying, who did that? Who's that by? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I was like, I have no clue. No clue whatsoever. I stitched this a long time over several years. Right. Okay. So last night, as we were watching Floss Tube and hanging out, right. it dawned on me that probably I had blogged about it on my blog, Crossroads of My Mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I no longer blog about my stitching. I'm hoping to catch up and do show notes from our floss tube episodes now, but even on that, I'm way behind. Way behind. But Fun. sure enough, I went back and found that I had blogged about stitching this and about finishing it. I gave all the details, I gave the title, and I was like, damn, that's why that's what why was so valuable about a blog is mm -hmm. it gives you a history of whatever you're blogging about truthfully right. yep. so let me hold this up and i will um give you the designer details but this is number five and it was a kit which explains why and it came with the fabric and the fabric came surged right which explains why it looks like i wasted a lot of fabric but i think back in the day i was not being not. super anal about that kind of, kind of thing. Right. So um, this is called, Over the i got to look at my notes, Over the River. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go a little bit closer. Other Oop, the other way. Okay. We can go a little bit closer. It's kind of hard to see in this. It's not really showing up, but it's a yellowy opalescent fabric. I don't know if you can tell. I can kind of think you might be able to, but... Um, it's abs. It's a. Uh, I, I don't know what count it is. I think thirty two maybe, but um, it's a opalescent yellow over dyed fabric by Silk Weavers that came with the kit. So okay, what I discovered, Wait, or what I was, detail. yeah, what I was reminded of by looking at my blog post from back when I stitched this is the title is called Over the River. It was a limited edition kit designed by Pat Thode. I think that's how you pronounce it. T-H-O-D-E. Get that cat. For heartstrings in 2004. A limited edition kit. It came with 32 count polished brass reflections by Silk Weavers. Right. All right. After I gleaned all that information off my blog post, just for ha-has, I did the Google. Hi, Carrie. And... I could not find this thing anywhere on the internet. No images, nothing. no auctions, nothing. no nothing. Nothing. So I feel like, wow, I got a real treasure. And yeah, it's so cool. It's really got a lot of embellishments. It's got a lot of metallics. Wasn't it like the one that was like on the very bottom of the whole pile? Yeah. 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 In the box. It was like and when Barbara box. saw it, she said, I don't care what, what else viewers vote for. I'm framing that thing. I mean, she was just like, okay. I want to frame that. And right. I was like, well, you're not in charge. No. Exactly. Okay. No. But anyway, so those are the five. Right. And we would like you to give us the top three yep. we'll in keep the comments. Track, and then we will we'll tell you on Sunday at our next video. So this is our video for this week. We did one on Wednesday, if you haven't noticed. Um, I know it's a long one. 
uh, but then this is our one we're going to Heather's bridal shower tomorrow, so we won't be around. Um, and then we will be back to reg regularly scheduled programming next Sunday. Yeah, so. a week from Sunday. And we'll let you know what you all chose, and it right. will be, we'll take, we'll try and take some pictures of the frames. Um, oh, that would be good. We'll try to we maybe out. show you what we, what we picked out for frames. Right. Um, and. And also what. Yeah. Mom's going to do is she's going to take pictures of these five pieces and post them on Instagram. Right. We're not going to take votes off of Instagram, but just if you want to get closer pictures or see up close what they look like, that's um, something that I told her she should do because it's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, PG Soap on Instagram if you don't follow me already. Right. Okay. Okay. All We're right. going to do that later. Okay. Because I'm afraid this is going to time out and I don't want to. All right. So that's going to do it. We're so thank you so much. 20 minutes. Thank you for your input. We really appreciate and it. And we cannot wait. We're going to get this uploaded right away and um, start tracking the votes. Start, start tracking the votes. So um, bye for now. We'll be back to give you the framing report. Yep. And we will see you a week from Sunday. Tomorrow. Uh, good Lord, winning and the willing and the creek don't rise. So, right, whatever she's that never means. Heard never that. heard of in my life. I'm 29. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, hey, I'm Pam, and I'm Stephanie, and this is just, just keep, keep stitching. stitching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.